And we are back to the Crescent City Cup 2018. Jackson here, as well as Jeremy Canman. I have no idea if that's how you say your name. Um, but so we have round six now. Evans Clinchy is undefeated. I think he might be the only undefeated person, but I should check up on that. He's the only undefeated person. So uh, Evans' challenger is Orlet Bullock, a severely underrated player. Uh, I think Orlet knows a lot of words as well. I think that's one of his main strengths. So I think we might see a similar game to last time with Wigan. Another shootout, lots of scoring, lots of open boards with Evans and Orlet. That's my guess, but we'll see what actually pans out. 35 people now. I think that might be the most yet that I've seen at least. So it seems like, like Evans is first. Oh, he draws the blank again, just like I think last game he also drew the blank on his opening rack. Oh, man. So... Nothing too nice to go with it. Um, by the way, Jeremy, if you're here, I can't hear you because I don't hear you speaking. Are we good now? Um, can you oh, hear I can me hear now? You now. Welcome. All right. Yes. Hey, Jeremy. How's it going? There we go. The, awesome. So, so he's, has, he's got, he's so, got sorry? kid vid uh, with the blank, but he's not going to waste a blank on that. Uh, Probably not. I doubt yeah. it. But it's it's a fun word. Um, kid of it. I actually had no idea that was a word. So yeah, Quackle kid statically, kid. does it like it? Yeah, Quackle likes it statically. Um, you definitely want to consider kid of it, I think, because it does clean up the rack. Like kid DTV blank is not yeah, ideal for blank. But leaves. I, I don't think you can. You can't waste a blank like that off the bat. And of course, Orlet's got a pretty clunky rack himself here. So. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I mean, again, kid comes down really quick. I guess, I guess he discounted I'll, vid, which is kind of surprising. I'll tell you, um, with kid vid, Orlet, if he had another O, has Toy Town. So oh, you know, uh, th those two kind of go together. Um, <laughs> that's boy, true. they are they are drawing some clunky stuff right off the bat here. Uh, I think Naudi uh, for maybe for Orlet here or Towny, but uh, either way, uh, yeah, making KY and making KY. Because of course, and uh, got to keep in mind in uh, the the extra two letter words you get when you're playing Collins. Yeah, yeah. I think it's interesting. Like he's considering Towie as well. T O W Y scores two fewer points, but it yeah, doesn't get back as big of a spot. O, you know, of course, Evans. Yeah. He doesn't know that Evans has no vowels, so. Yeah, and and Jerry Wynn is interesting. I mean, Wynn, it kind of makes the board very different. Like O T T. Yeah, TV is a lot worse than VT, but it does make the board like way less scoring prone. Like you just that, can't really do much after win. Uh, I think Evans is going to have to exchange something here. I can't imagine uh, he's yeah. going to try and play through this. Um, actually, he might play vlog. vlog. Vlog through the O. Yeah, vlog is no. about the only possibility, uh, and he is going to play vlog. So physics. My name is Jackson Smiley from Toronto, Canada. And I'm Jeremy Kahneman from like Jeremy Chicago, Jesus Illinois. Himself. Uh, oh, you guys, out by, and uh, what is his seventh letter here? Orlet and O. He's hiding it. I don't know where he's hiding it, but... He's got another O. <laughs> oh, he has an O, okay. Um, there we go. So, out voiced if he had a, uh, a C, but he does not, so... Um, yeah, he'll uh, definitely be trying to get rid of that U and the V killer combo. Um, yeah, I mean, there don't seem to be very many plays that get rid of vowels as well as the V. Like, he has... This, I mean, he could just play out Vi off of Kid, just being super aggro, just like he did with Towny. Towny opened up a big yeah. scoring spot. Out Vi could do the same. Um, it would be I don't know that you want to do that twice in a row against a guy like... Uh... Evans, you're not going to get uh, get away with that uh, too many times. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's not going to have all consonants every single time. Yeah. Um, I mean, he has stuff like wove, but the leave for wove from the W in Towny, it keeps IOTU. That's really gross. If anyone has yeah, any hangs an E out there, I don't like the leave. I don't the, like. I don't like that he's just given Evans an E to work through, which of course in this case is going to cost him a bingo. Um. Too so bad. What is, uh, too oh, Quackle likes out. Never mind. Quackle likes out by and Caillou. I forgot about Caillou. 
you. That is definitely oh. a play, I think. Um, yeah. Quite a lot of points. Yeah. Yeah, that, that probably uh, works. Of course, then he's going to put the E in the double-double line, and it's going to come back yeah. to play him. Um, so he's, well, he's better is, off here so with the Vogue, I think, is actually... That is, given given the knowledge of Evans' rack, that's actually a really nice play yeah. for him. But, of course, he wow. doesn't know what Evans has. But. No, it's very smart, though. I mean, after Vlog, Evans could have a few things. He could have all of consonants, but he could also have a pretty balanced leave. And he yeah. kind of had both of those at the same time. So, like, if he's making the inference that Vlog keeps tiles that are really bingo-prone, Vlog becomes a bit better. Yeah, um, and now Evans, of course, uh, very close to a bingo, but not quite there. Uh, yeah. And Alex just picked up the other blank, so um, he's... Uh, so Orlid is going to bingo next turn, almost certainly, I think. It, um, probably. It's, it's going to be uh, tough, we'll especially see. with that D hanging out there right now. Yeah, Jeremy, that's pretty much like the ideal draw right there. <laughs> it doesn't get too much better than that. Um, With what he was drawing to, yeah, he did okay there. Uh, yeah. The question <laughs> here is uh, there's not a lot for Evans uh, to play. Um, there's not. I'm really curious what he's going to do here. Uh, such a shutdown board. There's no, no good scoring opportunities. He's not going to get more than... 10 points anywhere. I mean, nth from the N, uh, which it looks like that is the Quackle uh, winner there as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, has it, a, it a lot. Lead, blank much. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's also stuff like heart above kid making high and add. It just sort of cleans up some consonants. But I think he could do better, yeah, just by playing short. I don't know if T-O-T-H is is not good. Never no. Then. Um, T A T A. Interesting. Okay. I'll be interested to see if Evans finds N T A. Because I think if he sees it, he's probably going to play it. I think that kind of fits with oh, his well, like. He's certainly going to see style. it. I just, I, you know, is he is he going to think it's the best move? I think. I mean, you know, when Evans doesn't play fast, you know, he's really considering some stuff. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. He is a yeah. very speedy player. He does not take long, so. Yeah, see, I, I physics, I agree that plays above kid are probably fine. Um, although I do think nth is probably better just to not break up the rack because you have a really, really synergistic bingo combo there with the, especially the ART. Um, I don't know if anyone can see on Quackle. I'm wondering what they say is second best. Oh, like, oh, Tath. Okay. I, yeah. Uh, Tath. Huh. So it is three more points to play Heart, but I guess the DR just has way more synergy. Just like DR works a lot better together than DT. So that's probably the main reason to play Tath over Heart. The other problem with Heart is actually that you keep a T and you're opening a T as a lane. And it kind of sucks to keep a T and also have that. a playthrough T. Interesting. Yeah. Very, very aggressive. Very interesting. So there is a bingo now for Orlet to play because uh, he's obviously got hat opens it up to some hooks. Um, he's got Kuthi on the rack, making yeah. the blank an H. I don't see any other bingos. So I don't see. I mean, he has out voice through the V, but it doesn't fit. Uh, and I don't think he has any nines through the AD. Um, oh, it seems Kuthi's his only bingo. Interesting. Wow. Um, I think you'll probably end up playing it. Oh, if he plays it, making hate, does that give Evans a triple-triple? Well, uh, Evans certainly has a good rack for that. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, man. No, it will not. I don't think. Uh, well, wait. Try oh, acids. Really? Yeah, try acids. It doesn't quite fit. No, that won't quite fit. There'll be one space too short. Oh. 
So add scripts. Right. Oh, add script would do it. Add script would do it. I that'll be interesting if that if Evans will see. And and yeah. also uh, try clads. Yeah, try clads okay. also fit. He will probably see one of those two. I I expect. Uh, um, so. And I think if, if Orlet plays Kuthi in the other spot, making Cad... Oh, no, OT's not even a word, so he can't even play it there. So I think he only has one bingo. Oh, so K1 or K3. Um, oh, H-A-T-I is a word, or is that the case? From K3. So, so H-A-T-I also seems to be a word, which seems like it would be a much better play because it doesn't get back the triple-triple. Sure, triple. definitely uh, much more defensive. It's H-A-T-H is the word. Not H A T. Oh, H A T H. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I think I expect he will probably make the one. Yeah, one point I, I'm sacrifice. not sure that he sees yeah, the bingo. To be honest with you. Yeah, it's very tempting to look for like outwards, out, and I C stuff like that. So. Uh, I haven't seen him arrange the word. letters to a point where I'm convinced that he's seen the bingo. Um, he certainly seems to be looking for other possibilities. I think now he's kind of getting there because now he's looking at that blank as an H with with touch on the rack. Oh, and interesting. All he's do is touchy. Will he see? Does he, think, <laughs> does he think touchy's a word? Is he going to switch the C and the T? Oh, it seems like he's almost preparing to play it like that. Oh, he's painfully close to it. <laughs> Just... I'm, I'm, and it'll be interesting here if he does play a phony. Uh, see how quickly Evans would uh, <laughs> challenge it off, or uh, you know what have you. Um, uh, physics. Where does Kuthier play? I don't. There's no Kuthier play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kuthi does take an R, and he does um, not you know see the bingo. So he missed that one. So now the question for Evans is what bingo to play. Yeah. And where. So he still has those words like add, add script. Um Sure. I mean, Oscar, like, opens a triple triple though. He's probably not going to do that. I guess he'll probably hook hate. He'll probably hook hate and make a big parallel play. Uh, yeah, um, diaster, disrate, drastic. Uh, yeah. Does he have anything um, like in darts or something that? Yeah, in darts making t i i n hated. Although that doesn't get a double word score. Doesn't hit the double. It's the only issue. Yeah. Um, um, we'll see what else he has. Diarist doesn't quite fit. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing any, any words that actually uh, fit a long QT as parallel plays, but he could easily just hook hate with a D or something and play. Sure, yeah, he's got plenty of options. Drastic, play anything. Or would even do hater and id and drastic. Yep. Yeah, and I wonder, like, Orlet took a while, but he didn't take so long that it's obvious he has a blank. Um, Orlet, it's probably more likely than average, given how long he took, but definitely not... Uh, I don't think Evans knows at this point that Orlet has a blank. So he could have just some difficult tiles. Yeah. Although Orlet does have B Clown on his rack if he sees it. That's beautiful, yeah. Um, yeah, physics is an interesting thing. S hooks, like, I feel like I usually overestimate how important S hooks are, but um, something like the drastic S hook, I guess the only problem is that it might not get blocked too easily. It might yeah. stay open for a long time because so, the C doesn't get paralleled in drastic, so that might prevent drastics from being blocked at all. Um, yeah. I guess like Evans will take a long time here. Another situation where he'll take a long time. We're starting to learn the ins and outs of 
ends game and when he takes a long time when he doesn't. Yeah, I mean, whenever if you're playing Evans and he's taking a long time, you know he's got something good. I mean, <laughs> he's... <laughs> He's a he's he's a he's one of the quicker players out there. So when he uh, if he's if he's thinking, that means something's coming. <laughs> so when he, when he takes two seconds as well, then you also know something big is well, coming. Well, yes, then, but then you don't have to he's wait for play it. Play bingo in two seconds. So is he yeah. going to dispart? <laughs> yeah, dispart. Interesting. So I guess he probably didn't see drastic. Because Drastic is three more points. Um, doesn't even give as many lanes back. Uh, yeah, so Evil Budgie, Tarsoid is kind of beautiful. Um, yeah, Tarsoid may have been missed as well, actually. Because Tarsoid yeah. seems... Tars so it seems like a slightly better play as well. Um, that, that, that's a tough one to see. Um, it also opens up a big S hook, and if you're not sure if it takes an S, some people will be really oh, apprehensive about swinging that. He hasn't there. made his play. He's switching. Oh, he's still thinking. Now. Is, okay. Is, is hater not a word? No, hater's obvious. Hater. Is, hater. <laughs> um, I'm wondering why he's not playing it one space up for three more points. I mean, again, he hasn't hit his I clock yet. I don't think. Curious so. about that as well. Yeah. Now, Orlet does have a double double to the T. But I don't know that he'll see. I don't see it yet. Oh, Blunk. Oh, I did see. not know that word. That's really cool. Balconet. Oh, Balconet. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. He does have Blanket too, but Balconet is definitely funny the word. one that's easier to see. That makes things really interesting. Um, Orlet has a pretty sizable lead now. Uh, 40 points-ish. No, well, but it's Evan's turn. He's got the Z. <laughs> yeah. This game's very Or Zamia as well. Evans is... Yeah, Evan is going to score 50. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Um, again, this is like kind of similar to last time. Like everything's kind of staying open. There's like a lot of possibilities each turn. Um, but I feel like things may get a bit more closed this game than last time. Yeah, I feel Evan, like the top Evan has a super quick forty plus point Z play without even thinking about it with the AD sitting there with the double letter score. Uh, but yeah, for what sure. Other poss possibilities does he have there? Zamia for fifty six. I mean. Amia is really interesting. Um, does Amia take any other hooks? That's the other question. Does takes an one? L. He could just play Amia setting up the Z. Yeah, um, yes. For 16. I mean, the only problem is he's sacrificing 40 points to do that, and Orlet could very, very uh, yeah, well I don't think, figure out I don't what he's think, doing and block easily. I think if you have a 56-point play, you're not going to sacrifice 40 points to try and set uh, He could, though, because... He the could, other thing is, um, if you play Zamia, <laughs> I, I'm wondering though because Zamia right now also gives back a bunch of Z plays. Right now, it could easily give back 40 points, whereas Amia. So, um, you know, it's worth considering. There's also stuff like Riz. I think R I Z A R I Z A is a word off of the R and Drastic. If he wants to play, play it a bit safer, he could go that route. I, I think he's probably going to do Zamia, but it seems like he's thinking about Amia right now, and I kind of hope he plays it because it'd be really interesting. Yeah. Um, that will be interesting. I think that's going to telegraph uh, that he's got the Z. I think it definitely will. And, uh, uh, but some, some people don't think about it. Like some people, sometimes you have to think about your opponent. Like uh, he might be thinking, like, does is Orlick going to think about that? Is he going to just say, oh, Amia, whatever? He played Amia. Um, I, yeah, I, I agree. Orlick's I hope he does Amia. Probably, it's really uh, interesting. Orlick's probably a good enough player that he's not going to let that go. And I think Evans is best off taking the 56 points and drawing into the IL. Um, we'll see. We shall um, see. Maybe he's feeling risky. Yeah, I'm totally team Amia right now. 
Um, <laughs> not sure if it's because I like it as a play or just because I think it's exciting. But either way, I, I hope that's what happens. I, I agree. I think it's a more exciting game to watch if he plays it because I think then you're really curious about what's going to happen next. But I think it's a I think it is a poor play. Interesting. How will this take a vote in the chat? What do you guys think? Do you think Emu is a good play or a bad play? Because I am undecided. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. And I'm wondering, if he plays Amio, what is Orlet going to do? Because he could play something well, like Exo underneath, but that doesn't properly block it. Yeah, I mean, like, because... That, that really does... I mean, right now he's got EX set up for the... Uh, that the 40 point X play, uh, right. right to drastic there. Um, cause, um, I guess when you think about it, yeah, like, um, 95 points for a Z play after Amia and 16 now. So that's 111 over two turns. If he gets it, I assume. It, it, Assuming that's, he gets that's, that's the biggest to play. Yes. Uh, again, yeah, a big if he gets to play it. That's 111 points. He's going to do it. He is going to do it. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy. I, oh, man. I. <laughs> and here's the thing I feel like if you're going to play Amia, you got to do it really quickly. You got to do it in the first couple minutes because you don't want to take 10 minutes and play Amia because that will make Orlet really suspicious. Well, I so... think Orlet should be really suspicious <laughs> right now. The question is, what's he going to do about it? Yeah. Um, and that also, you know, Evans has to draw something that he can, you know, he's still, he's, he's, he doesn't have a Z play to the triple word score right now. It depends on what he draws. He could draw some yeah. good stuff. It's true. I mean, it's a, it's a risk. I think Orlitz could play Rio, R-E-O, or something underneath Ami. I think that properly blocks it. Um, uh, no, so be Evans put the Z down. Oh, he, the Z down. he hadn't hit the uh, clock yet. Good job, Evans. Oh, Evans, I am right. disappointed in you, Evans. <laughs> I am, I am, I am proud of you, Evans. I, I think he was. So I now think he gets to play toying with us. He may have been. I, I think he's toying with himself. He well, no I'll idea. tell you this. Look at this. He didn't even draw a vo Now he drew the S, so he would have had Zitz and Zamia. Yeah. And uh, now Orlick gets to play zero for thirty-nine. He, could, and he might he have could, had to play he could Rio. Play zero. He could 18. play, uh, you know, there, there's. Uh, he could play Coxa from the C. Um, oh, that's true, Coxa. Yeah, that's forty. That's a lot of points, actually. Yeah. He could, he could play Axe under Zamia. Uh, I'm, I'm very disappointed that Evans didn't do that. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a, a big talking to. We're gonna have to talk to him very harshly. <laughs> Teach him how to be on a stream. I think Coxay looks pretty good right now. Um, Forty-five points. I mean, actually, I think zero. So I'm gonna take that I back. Think I think zero. Zero, looks good. zero is a play because, still, yeah, I think zero looks good. Yeah. Um, if I w wasn't gonna do TBS, zero, I'd do Ax, but I like to leave with zero. Yeah, my only issue with Axe is AXE is that it. it it has a big parallel underneath with making AXE. Sure. That'll be a huge. Spot. Exactly. Yeah, I think Zero is fine. I'm glad he plays it. Um, yeah, it's fun to predict what they're playing, especially when we're right about what they're playing. <laughs> Clift. Clift has a cool hook in Collins. Glift. Uh, uh, Clift takes a takes a Y at the back. Oh, with the with the C. With the C, yeah. It's, yeah. It can't come up this game. Sure. Uh, Unless you're a Scrabble 2 fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. If you're Donald uh, Sauter, then you get to play Cliff. <laughs> yeah, Cliff's probably not a bad play here. Um, yeah. There's nowhere to play Glyft, really. And, uh, Jeremy, yes. Yeah, Glyft and Glyphs are both words. Um, yeah. yeah, Donald Sauter is amazing. What a guy. Um. <laughs> I wonder what was going through Evan's head when he was thinking about Amia versus Zamia. Because <laughs> once you put Zamia down, you can't take the Z back. Then that's kind of it. That's yeah, 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 yeah. no. Because. <laughs> 
because the power of Amia is hoping your opponent just messes up and misses Zamia or something. <coughs> That's part of the part of the power. Um, <laughs> that's great so Evan seems to be thinking about Clift I'm surprised he hasn't slapped it down in his usual fashion yeah he's, uh, there's some interesting plays in his uh, plays here yeah there's a lot of things you can set if he can set up his S somehow he can play golf through the U keeping a more bingo prone leave there's uh, some stuff to consider I think Clift is probably the, the way no, he's, he's going to make drastics and uh, fists. He's going to play both S's. Hmm. Interesting. He took the points. I think, yeah, he's he's opening up these spots. I'm surprised he played that because I feel like his S's have more power in them than that. I don't think his S's are particularly powerful here because there's no big S hooks besides drastics. Um, so Clift does kind of decrease the value of his S because there's no good place to play the S but I'm still surprised he did that it's, it's a lot of S's to play off in one turn and he's also opening up a pretty decent size scoring spot as we'll see when he gets hit with faxes or something I wonder why Evans is really nervous right now that's, that's interesting he always struck me as more on the calm side I, I, Evans, I don't think gets very nervous. He doesn't. I, he's he's pretty good on the the Scrabble board with nerves. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I think Cliff seems reasonable. I mean, <laughs> the G sucks, but he's keeping the G in fists as well. Um, ooh, Evans is only has nine minutes. There's actually a lot of tiles on scene, so Evans does have to worry a bit about getting time trouble. Uh, you know, so I, not yes and no. I think. Uh, Evans is so used to playing quick that he can afford to, you know, if he needs to, he'll speed up his game. He'll be fine. Yeah, um, that's true. But it's a close game. I mean, this is... Uh, yeah, finally a close game. We've been having so many blowouts. we got a good one here. Yeah. Very interesting what to do. He's probably going to play through the U, I feel. I'm just not sure what yet. Um... Something through the QT. How about roll up places? You play roll up. Roll up is interesting. Cute. Yeah, I would believe it if you played plug or something. That's also reasonable. Yeah. Cool. Um. Actually, oh no, he doesn't have a U. He can't play roll up from the R and get the P on the triple word score. That would be very nice. Yeah, that is true. Um. So what is Quackle saying? Our good friend Quackle likes Glaive for 22. Oh, likes that nice parallel play. Interesting. Yeah, all these options seem really... They seem unideal, to say the least. I might even play Repole to sort of get through these tiles. Although, there's no blanks out. Pool isn't anything special to dig into. Yeah, I think tile um, turnover is one of those things that gets a little bit overemphasized sometimes. Oh, for there, there are times in a game, absolutely. you know, if you have a lead uh, where tile turnover becomes kind of an important thing in a game like this, I think you need to you need to score, you need to maximize your points, and you need to really worry about your leave. And I think you know Evans has given himself a really good leave here. Um, could have maybe scored some more points, but I think, Single you know, it's a great play. Yeah, I mean, he does have the S in fists as a nice lane to end with an S. So that is something. ELOR does end with vowels because it's a slightly vowel-heavy leave, so he might be able to play a bingo underneath plug, making PE or something. That being said, I'm still not in love with it, but just because ELOR seems a bit meh to me, I'd rather keep the P or something. Yeah, But I don't know. Glaze, Glaze is an interesting Now we've got Orlet here looking to freebase some cocaine, but there's no B. <laughs> so he's going to settle for the uh, reef. He'll pay a fee. Yeah. Coming down pretty fast. Not too surprising. Orlet does have like a pretty. He has like a decent, decent lead right nice now, lead. like something that he could he's actually got defend. A great leave. Yeah. If he gets a bingo down, he's going to be in great shape. So that might be. Probably what he's thinking about with Reef. 
I think you're always thinking about getting nothing go down, right? <laughs> yeah, so you never take a break from that. Um, but yeah, I think it's a good idea not to be too worried about opening that lane that he did with opening the E, because he's not up by quite enough to start sacrificing too much, I think. So it's interesting. And he draws Ramifies. He draws pretty nice bingo. Getting that bingo. Go down will be super big for him. Siriatim as well. Okay. Yeah. And you know Ramifies is going to come down and probably pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. He actually had Siriatim through the T, um, but it just got blocked. That's beautiful play. Yeah, um, that would have been very nice. Yeah. I don't know if he would have seen it, but it would have yeah. been very nice. Because it also blocks the E, which is a thing that he wants to do when he has a lead like this. Yeah. So I think that, that would have been pretty nice. So, um, I mean, Evans inadvertently blocked that, that thing. Um, and now Evans will be very sad if Ramifies comes down because that will block his own bingo. Um, although I think it does. Um, the no, it doesn't yeah. block Redolent. It certainly, certainly blocks oh, wait, that. No, no, it, no, it doesn't. It, it, oh, it does, actually, just because of NI. But besides that, it's actually... Pretty close to playing after Ramifies. Um, yeah, physics. Uh, Yup is. I'm surprised he didn't take more time on that because with his slight deficit, it seems like something you should think about. That being said, he's he's still in the range where he doesn't need a bingo. Evans could easily win just by drawing some decent scoring sure. tiles. So but that I, may be why he didn't think too much. Well, I will tell you right now, I'm 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 wondering. Uh, Orlet seems to be taking some time here. Uh, yeah. And I would think that he would get ramifies down pretty quick. Um, so there is a possibility that maybe he doesn't uh, see it. Yeah. Looks like he, he might see the uh, Ceratium there, the way he's got the uh, tiles uh, lined up. Of course, that yeah. doesn't go good. That now. is wishful thinking. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. What would you put his chances that if he plays ramifies, what do you think? Uh, chances I think be? if he plays ramifies, I, I, I gotta he's he's probably got to be a, a seventy to thirty favorite. Uh, really that, I would even say higher, man. Like it'll be tough for Evans to come back after it, that. It'll be tough, but but I I have I have faith in Evans, and he's not gonna he's not gonna play it. He doesn't see it. Oh man, that's the second bingo this game that Orlet has missed, and he's still got the lead. So. And this will be huge because now Evans and now Evans gets is to bingo back. Bingo this is down. absolutely huge. So that is a huge, huge tie. I mean, you know, now at this point, uh, obviously Orlet's not aware that he just missed his second <laughs> Evans, bingo of the game, but yeah, Evans doing his classic two-second bingo. Yep, he knew it was there as soon as it stayed. He he was ready to pounce. Uh, let's see what uh, Orlet draws. I mean, he's got a great leave. He could just still draw something. But, I mean, now at the board is, is... I don't know if I'd say 90% to win. Oh, and he's got the J it now. Is, yeah. I'm just wondering if Orlet could outscore Evans. It's probably not too easy. I mean, you possible. know, it, it, he's, he's down 37 points. you got a tough board to bingo on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's got the J. You know, he's going to get some points out of that. Really hopefully, helping him, but, yeah. At, at this point, and I don't know Orlet, and I mean no offense by this, but he doesn't deserve to win the game. You know, he may still win I mean, it. I mean, it's hard to say because he award? could make some brilliant plug plays. Is plug-in a word? Is, is what? Plug-in. Plug-in. I'm going to check it. I doubt it, but that would be pretty huge if it was. That would it's be not pretty cool. I yes. mean, he doesn't have anything really that uh, plays in there. <laughs> that would be a jig there, yeah. Yeah. But you know, you'd well, have jig. Or no, I guess he wouldn't have. It's a D. No, no, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, yeah, plugin is hyphenated. Uh, I mean, he, he. I expect him to play something like jog through the O. But the only problem with that is like D E I R S is great for drawing bingos. But there's nowhere on the board well, to play I think bingos. He'll, I, so. I would think he'd play G uh, and get the J on the triple uh, letter score. Where is that? If he's going to play off the J, I would think he would, would, would do G instead of Jog. For 26? For 26, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess, I mean, the leave is a lot worse, but yeah. I mean, if he's trying to outscore it, I'm not sure. Actually, you know, the other thing is parallels off of Rondelette may be a bit annoying if he's trying to outscore. So he does play jog. I think he's just hoping for some miracle draw. Not sure what that is. Uh, yeah, on this board, though, there's not Evans a real good up bingo. spot to uh, put a bingo at the moment. Oh, interesting. ING fits above Yup. That's kind of interesting. So that makes the G slightly more powerful. Yeah. So Evans, yeah, Evans just scoring points. I think it's a solid strategy for him just to make sure that he cannot get outrun without a bingo. So I think that's a very good idea, just to score points. He doesn't need to worry about blocking things because the board's already blocked. Yeah, this is a pretty ugly board if you need to bingo. Uh, yeah, it's not easy. Uh, I mean, you you you've got the he's got the O and the P to hook above the P, but you got to end a word then with O or U. I'm sorry, with the O or the U above the P. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. But, I expect he's probably going to open a lane around there, maybe playing UP to set up a new lane. But even so, it could easily get blocked. I think. But at this point, you know, he's down. 44 points, if you're going to take five points doing something to open a bingo lane, I, I just, I don't see it being worth it. I think I'd rather play Udo for 20. Yeah. I mean, in, in Ephemeron just brought up the Q, and I'm looking at the board right now, I don't see any spot for the Q, which makes the Q a really, really, really big deal. But if someone yeah. sees a good spot for the Q, let me know, because or that changes Orlet's game plan entirely. He can try to win by Q-sticking Evans, and then all he has to do is make sure there's no Q-spots on the board and then hope he doesn't draw the Q. Well, right now, there's the, point. There, right now, there's Drast... Oh, and that's a C. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not... Um, there, right there is now, a U no on the scene. Yeah, oh, no, right I guess, now you need something to play the Q with. Uh, there's no space to just drop it, but... Um, so I mean, think I think that actually really, really needs a lot of a lot of good fortune, a lot of luck here. Uh, yeah, to come back and and have a chance. I'm also, but I think I'm he also he also needs about, to score. Yeah, because he might play something heaping eru, and that means if he draws the queue, then he gets query for thirty seven, which could help him outrun actually. So I'm wondering about something like od off of Zamia for seventeen points. Um, that's not horrible. Yeah, I, I it, it's it's at least a, I think Orlet needs to figure out like how is he going to win this game. He needs like a plan. Right. Like so he's he's trying to open up a line happen. there with OU. Interesting. Odds he picks the Q right here, fifty fifty. That high, really? I'm just going. I'm just going with yeah. how the game's going for him. Yeah. Not, not the actual mathematical <laughs> odds. Yeah, yeah. What I um, tell you? <laughs> of course, oh, man. he picked it with a U. Oh, wow. So he actually now has got squared, which he just set up. Wow. So he's he's actually in, in not such bad shape, although <laughs> the bad thing for him is even if he gets this bingo down... It, of course, has the E-hook in the triple line. Well, he's not going to get it yeah, down. Evan, Evans played the smart play, and uh, so much for that. But it would have been a lot yeah. of fun if, if, if I, Evans I'm not surprised, didn't yeah. get that down, because Evans almost assuredly would have come back and hooked the E for Esquired. And, uh, it would have been close. Course, Evans hasn't actually played yet, so he's... Yeah, probably making sure there's no O's left. Oh, you know what? He's keeping the O because, yeah, he's got the only O left. I think he just realized, oh, yeah. nope, he's going to play it. Okay. He's probably worried about eight-letter words ending in the N if he just plays yeah. off the N. So it might be his worry. Um, very interesting. So, Orlet, I wonder if there's any word that fits from the, the R in zero to the E in Carex ending in Q-U-E, something that Orlet could fish for. I don't see one right now, but I wonder if there is one. I'm going to say no. 
Okay, let's see. I'll check on Ziziva, trusty friend. Uh, there's one, Remark, but I don't oh, yeah. I don't think it fits in the pool. Nope, there's no oh, Evans. Evans, still, Evans hasn't even played yet. Okay. So Evans is still thinking. Ah! Interesting. So I owe, does it, what does it take in college? It takes a B and a G in front. Okay. So no and there are no G's, e no G's left, so he's okay there. <laughs> as long as he can avoid some crazy ION ending 10s. Well, okay. I don't think that uh, there's a lot of possibilities there for that, but... Yeah. So I expect Query to come down right now. Something like Query, because, you know, it's it's possible he could outrun after that. Not likely, but possible. No, oh, I, I don't even know if it's possible. I mean, I'm sure in the, the 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 chances of it are so slim. Yeah, he's got query, which is a fine play yeah, in this situation. I think, in either way, it does cut spread if he ends up losing. Yep, it's it seems make like the way to game. go. Um, I don't. I mean, he could have tried to bingo again. Um, there's nowhere to bingo. You, there's no. He's not gonna. And anything he opens up, he could play gonna... something. Yeah, I mean that's the only problem because he has to hope that there's. He has to. He can't just have one place to bingo because yeah. Evans will block that. Uh, Evans is low on time. Yeah, exactly. Like you never know when someone's low on time, crazy things happen. Um, Evans does have a pretty solidly balanced rack, so I don't expect he's going to lose this. But you, you never know. It is pretty close. Oh. Wahini? Wahin. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's always thinking about it. He's just doing it. I think he thinks, you know, it scores enough. He's not going to get outscored very often at all. Seems good. Especially the bag. I don't think there's bingos in the bag that he has to worry about. I gotta tell you, I mean, that... that seems like kind of a ballsy move. I'm just trying to think like with the unseen tile pool. Yeah. Is there any possibility that he uh, could be giving him a bingo with the A or even the W. I doubt the W, but you never know. Um, I think Evans will trust his word knowledge in this case because Evans is very, very solid on his bingos. I think he's not worried about that. The only worry is, as Jeremy pointed out, D E A W I E, as a, it's a pretty good out in two because it saves his A S, which is probably going to score pretty well. So there's a chance that uh, that D D A W I E will actually win the game for him. That what will win the game will. for him? Uh, D E A W I E. I don't think it'll happen because I think Evans is going to go out very often because he'll, he'll have an outplay. He's only drawing one. Yeah, he's having. He's going to get an outplay. I yeah. think this is. I think Wahin is solid. He he might not win by much, but he'll win. And that's his part. Oh, he's going to win. He's going to win. About at this point, there's no question he's going to win. I can't believe that spelling of Dewey, D-E-A-W-I-E. Yeah, that's so strange. Weird. That's Collins. That's like that's the type of beautiful words you get in Collins. Awesome. Well, I think when Orlet goes over this game, he's going to be mad at himself. Yeah. The first the Kuthi miss, and then the Ramifies miss. Yeah, those are pretty huge. Ramifies would have completely flipped the. Yeah, ramifies. Upside down. I mean, but you know, Kuthi also. Kuthi, I mean, Evans was going to come back with a bingo, um, and maybe even a triple triple if he places it wrong. So not not seeing Kuthi might have actually been okay, um, <laughs> but the missing ramifies most definitely uh, cost him the game right there. I think Evans. Has quite a few outplays to choose from. Oh yeah.
So it'll be about like 20, 25 point game, which is good for. I mean, Evans is still undefeated after this. He's six. You know what? Spread doesn't matter if you don't lose. <laughs> Maybe that's his plan. He's like, I don't need to worry about spread. I'm just going to win every game. There you go. That'll I don't work. Worry about anything else? You know. <laughs> yeah. So over in TWL land, we have we're only going to have one person undefeated after this round. Only one six and zero. Oh. It's going to be either Jason Lee or Carl Johnson, one of the two top two seeds. So it's pretty tightly contested. How's uh, Austin Shin been doing in the Collins? I haven't been uh, following. Yeah, let's check it out. Um, I, he was two and two, I think, at the lunch break. So I'm not okay. sure right now. Say, because you know, the last time he was in New Orleans, he ended up doing pretty well. <laughs> yeah, he had a pretty damn good tournament. He won. He won the Collins Division of Nationals. Yeah. Um, let's see where he's at. He's two and three. He lost to Matthew O'Connor last round. So oh. I'm sure he's plotting his comeback. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's so many good players. Like someone's gonna have a bad start. It it is a very players. talented field. Um, Dave Koenig, Chris Light, a lot of really really uh, talented players uh, in the yeah. Collins field. So, and uh, what do we got? A final here, a twenty six point spread. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he has me plowing through the field. Uh, 26 points spread. Evans stays undefeated. It's exactly what he wants. All righty. I think... Uh, uh, is this so the I last think we'll be seeing more of Evans. Is there one more? I think there's at least one more, yeah. All right, well, I think um, I am done for the day. I think somebody else is coming on with you. All right. Well, it's Bye. nice commenting with you. Yeah, uh, take care, and uh, maybe I'll see you over aboard one of these days. Yeah, that'll be nice. <laughs> Take care. All right. So I think we'll be seeing more of Evans. I think we're staying with the top game every round, so we'll definitely be seeing more of Evans and more of his wide open style where he scores a lot of points and usually outscores his opponent. He has a great strategy in that respect. So uh, I will sign off for now. I think we'll have, I think, at least one more game of the day. We might be getting Josh Sokol in here. Everyone's favorite tall person. So I'll see you guys in a bit.